Tywin the Vile here. This is going to be the first video in a series of uh, playthrough videos where I play through the entire campaign using only heavy weapons. What I did was I, I'm a new game 51. I just decided to restart Rebirth 1 uh, so I could use my current setup with gems and everything and just do a playthrough and show you how effective heavy class can be. Um, obviously I have a lot of gems that are making heavy a lot a little easier to use um, I do have a rainbow defense gem I do have a combo heavy combo slash plus one gem I also have uh, you know magic stat gems and a couple shield stat gems that obviously make it a little easier and I have a, a dark uh, elemental attack gem so and all those combined do make it easier, but even so, there are some tricks and tips that can help you be more effective with the heavy class. I would recommend, if you can find it in old game, or original game, or new game, whatever you're playing, either in a large chest or a big gem prize wheel, try and find the combo slash plus one. It's like a dark purple gem, heavy gem, looks like an hourglass. It will give you an extra slash during the combo, during the slash sequences, during your combos. And there is a little trick once you have that, that you can really deal a lot of damage very quickly uh, called wrapping combos. I'm going to bring you a video that will show you that more in depth, but it's a good gem to have. So here's my setup health enough to get one or two hits shield 400 you don't need any more than that attack everything else uh, magic it's really not necessary but I have some magic stat gems that I threw on just to help it recharge a little faster because I do have a magic on magic get shield gem which is helpful if you're fighting a boss and he's taking down your shield a lot you can uh, use magic and regain some of those shield points because in original game all the titans no matter what rebirth you're on take away five shield but in new game the higher new game you get the more shield points they take away um, I mean at, at new game 51 fighting Rith he takes away around 263 shield uh, on a normal block and like a hundred something on a perfect block or whatever half, half that is so you do need a little more shield points but with this setup 400 shield points about 400 set points into health like, so about 20,000 health and then the rest in attack I can beat almost every single titan with this setup it's a very balanced very effective setup the only titans i cannot defeat without reallocating stats are moss golem and uh rift because they they just fighting them with heavy is super hard as you'll see i'll bring some videos uh in the near future showing those two titans um, even the sky cage titans i can beat with this setup no problem so there you saw the combo wrapping. What I was able to do was, after the first slash sequence, I was able to do a quick combo um, without having to initiate a whole new combo. I was able just to right, jump right back into a combo and do a new slash sequence. It's a very effective technique that I will bring a video of later so I can break it down for you and show you exactly how to do it. But you do need the combo slash plus one heavy gem. But as you can see, with with the right setup and the right practice, heavy. I'm killing these guys just as easily with heavy as I am with dual. Now, in the beginning, when you don't have all the gems, you don't have all the high equipment, heavy is gonna be a little harder. Which I'll bring a video after I finish this new game. I'll bring a video starting a, starting a brand new new game with heavy and I'll show you that you can still be really effective even without these gems uh, and it's still it's not hard once you know what you're doing and how to 
use heavy effectively. It's a lot slower than dual, so going from dual to heavy is a bit of a transition, but it's a lot of fun to use, and I think it's really underrated. It's probably my favorite class, and people say that it doesn't deal as much damage, but there are ways when played correctly that you can deal almost as much damage as with dual. With, you know, with a dual Titan Break plus two, you can kill. If you get a four exclamation point break, you can kill a Titan in one break or close to it. But using the combo plus slash one gem and using the wrapping combos technique that I'll bring a, an in-depth video here soon, you can kill a lot of Titans in almost one break um, also. So really, it's not as different as people think it is. I actually did a test where I used I use the same I use the same enemy, I use dual, then a heavy, then light, and I use I tried to find comparable um, like if my dual weapon did forty damage, I made sure the heavy weapon did forty and I made sure that the light weapon did forty. No elemental attack and of all the titans I've tested so far, only only a couple was I able to kill them quicker with dual. Otherwise, it took about two breaks using every single weapon with this setup. Um, it did a couple bosses I was able to kill in one break with dual, but it really is not as divergent of a weapon class as people make it out to be. It just takes some getting used to, and that's the biggest thing. The other thing is block breaks are not as effective as parry breaks, especially if you have the combo slash plus one gem. A parry break is going to give you the opportunity to get that wrapped combo. You continue the combo, you can get three slash sequences oftentimes in one parry break which if done correctly and with perfect slashes you can kill many titans in almost one break if not one break completely so i use super here just to kill her off because i was uh blocking the wrong direction i probably would have died so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you think about heavy i'm gonna bring more and more videos here in the near future highlighting the heavy class and bringing you more tips on how to be successful with it but you know let me know what you think my guess is most of you like dual but as i continue to make these videos i'm gonna attempt to change your mind so till next time this is time on the vial